Right, so we're going to try a, a modeler version of a Dunkeld, and this is a B175, and uh, in this case it's a size 6. Usually when I get asked for this fly it's for salmon fishing on locks, so it's usually 6s, 8s and 10s. So for the purpose of the video, we're going to try a 6. Cause so, tail of this one. I'm going to use a golden pheasant topping. So, put on our silk and wrap it down to a point about level with the, the barb. And we'll put on topping with a few turns and then pull it in to whatever length you choose. This is a nice straight topping. Then tighten up the wraps on top of it to hold it in place. because the nature of toppings is that they're not very compressible so they are prone to pulling out. So just a little bit on that. I'll we'll stop that happening. Now for the rib you can use uh, gold oval or you can use gold wire. I'm going to use oval this time. I'm going to cut that off and attach it on the underside of the hook. And now I'm going to use my tensile just to even up. The under body. Okay. Now. For the body of this one I'm going to use a gold holographic flat tinsel. So add that on. And wrap it rearwards. And when I get to the back I'm going to be a bit more careful on the way up. On this one, I'm going to use an orange clock hackle. I'm just going to make that out and break it off at the point I want to tie it in. Now we get our hackle pliers. Our icon. Start again. A couple of turns at the front. Happens to all of us. A couple of turns at the front and then start to wrap backwards. Get to the rear of the fly here, then I take my tinsel under my hackle and then start to come forward, wiggling it as it goes, and that should go through your I nick that off. fibers backwards to align them a little bit better. Now next 
say this is up to yourself but sometimes you tie the fly without Galena or J. but in this instance I'm going to use so I've stripped off a bit of the side of a dyed blue guinea fern or Galena and I'm going to just envelop the whole hook in that put on a loose wrap and then tighten it up and that will create a false hackle snip off my loose ends and back that down right for a wing on this one bronze mallard so I'm going to take a bronze mallard filler and I'm just going to Broke the fibers of it to align the tips flat. And I'm going to roll that to land up with a nice wing bunch. Now, again, length up to yourself. I'll come sort of halfway down the tail here and I pinch a loop. Pull it down tight. And then wear that on. Nick it off. Take my dubbing needle. A little bit of glue. Just into the cut ends of the mallard. And then bind over the top of that. jungle cock take one out on my side if you were just tying this in if you were finishing the fly as it was I'd tie the jungle cock much shorter than what I'm tying them in here now but I'm going to put a muddler head on this which will sort of mask them to a large degree, so I'm making them a bit longer than what I usually would. And then a bit of on the thread. Wrap there to hold them in place. Okay, now we're ready for the motor head. So in this instance I'm using a deer hair and I've picked one that has a nice sort of pattern on the tip of it. And we'll cut a bunch of that. So I'm gonna set that up on my fly. Poke the head into it. I'm going to place on a couple of loose wraps, feeling for where my tip of my eye is. Now I trim that. And when I pull that and wind through it, I should get. them back down with my knee. Thread up. You want here. I'm just going not to make a little bit more taper. Now I take my double needle and a bit of super glue. Apply the super glue to the sides, 
wick into my tan thread. And I just stroke that backwards with my fingers.